Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. What's up, Star Wars fans and collectors? Welcome back to another Power of the Force Friday. Again, I was really lazy last week and didn't do a video. But I'm back this week to talk about the other figure that I got. My first ever Star Wars figures. Last time I saw, showed you uh, Chewbacca um, from the Power of the Force. This time we've got my other first figure, which is Darth Vader. Um, I do have a little elastic band around his hand at the moment and it was clear when I put it on but it's sort of the the plastic sort of strained and it's gone white but uh, not a big deal it's not gonna break so um, just because the grip on the lightsaber was quite loose um, but yeah this is a figure that I've had for a very long time this again this isn't my original Vader um, but it is cool nonetheless so we're going to go back and consult the ultimate action figure collection and I'm going to just try and find Vader nice and quickly which is no easy feat because there's like a million clones and then you gotta get past all the C's before you can get the D's and that's what she said so Darth Maul, we've got some Darth Mauls there and here we are So there we have the original Kenner Vader. We have the Power of the Force version right here. If we get a look here, it says the first new wave Vader, besides being more muscular, used both gloss and matte black paint to distinguish between the cloth and the harder parts of the costume. There was also a variant um, where he had a long, longer saber as pictured here, whereas the one I have is actually a bit shorter. There we go. The figure was also released a little bit later on in the Shadows of the Empire. Came in a two pack with Prince Shizor. Which is uh, very similar, just slight tweak to the figure. But uh, yeah, that's that's it for Vader. So let's uh, let's take a look. We'll get this camera back. So yeah, the cape pops off the neck. It's actually quite a solid formed piece of plastic. There's no flexibility like the uh, plastic capes they do these days. And yeah, he is uh, shredded, as you'd expect from Power of the Force. But uh, yeah, like I've always said, I never I never gave it a thought when I was a kid. Um, and nor did many other collectors I don't think that were sort of involved with the power of the force as kids like you just had a version of the character as we didn't look at them as you know being overly muscular and you know ridiculously out of proportion and stuff like that they just didn't even register um, uh, for partially probably just because that's how figures were back in the day um, whereas now you know, they're super duper, super duper clean and accurate, and yeah, this is a this is a cool figure. The the lightsaber's got an almost an orange hue to it. I don't know whether it's just the. Well, I seem to remember mine being like a bright red, so maybe it's just the colours sort of just sort of leaked out of it over the years. I don't know. It's just something that just didn't work for them back then. So you had dyes that sort of just didn't work um because there are some that look kind of pink as well so yeah there's i mean vader seems to have the most most different variations of a release and he keeps selling that's why hasbro keep putting vaders out i mean just looking at here we have one there's two pages of darth vader's three four five six Seven, eight, eight, and onto the ninth page of Vader's. So that we've had no shortage of Vader's over the years, um, and all different types, colours. I'm just looking here. There is a red one. There is a silver one. There was a white one in a comic pack. There was a lava reflection one. There was a comic one 
that I can see here that's got a like blue shading. Um, there's a hologram and you know it even crosses over into the black series where we've got a, a few different versions already so Vader is going to continue to sell. He is iconic. He you know he resembles you, you see Vader you know everyone knows who he is despite not probably having seen Star Wars. There are people out there weirdos um, <laughs> no, I kid uh, that have never seen Star Wars but they would know that this guy belongs to that property. Um, it's just, you know, really lightning in a bottle. That George and Ralph McQuarrie and the likes captured with Vader's look. It's really just... Yeah, it's just perfect villain look, really. Um, so yeah, I've, I've a lot of... Uh, I, I'm a big Vader fan, like I've got a, uh, up the top there, I've got a bit of a shrine with some different Vader pieces. I've always been a uh, Vader fan. It's just, again, it's just that sort of iconography that he has. So uh, yeah, that wraps up this quick little Power of the Force Friday. Thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. So yeah, looking forward to uh, picking a figure out for next week and the coming weeks. And I am going to try my hardest to do it weekly. The, uh, time just sort of slips out of my hands every now and then. Again, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And uh, until my next one, May the force be with you, always.